Good morning, everybody. It is very early at the beginning of what is going to be a very hot February day here in South Georgia. And I have access to a very cool property today that I have seen some very cool snakes on, set up a lot of tin on. And it's just a great place to be out looking for snakes. So I'm going to hike around for most of the day and do a little bit of tin flipping this afternoon. And hopefully we'll get lucky. This place is loaded with pine snakes, diamondbacks, indigos, pretty much everything you could hope for. So I'm going to get to it and I'll let you guys know when I have my first find of the day. Alright, so basically I'm going to be taking this thing around this awesome property today and just kind of hop in between areas that look snaky. And oh, there's a tortoise right there. See him sitting in the sun. Oh, I spooked him. Well, that's a good sign. Stuff's coming out already. Walk over here and see if there's any evidence of snake or anything else. Yep. Looks like just tortoise sign right there. Well, this is a familiar sight. There's one. I think this is two different indigo snake sheds. Let's see if I can find a tail. Yeah, there's a tail here. So. It's two different indigos. We got two tails. Wow. Would have been nice to find the snakes instead of the sheds. Two decent sized snakes as well. Very nice. Well, that's a big indigo. Well, that is a great way to start the day. <laughs> After seeing those sheds, I can't say I'm exactly surprised the first snake of the day was an indigo, but that's awesome. He's big and in shed, but let's see if I can Kind of put my foot next to him so you can see a little bit of scale. He's quite sizable. Definitely one of the bigger ones I've seen. How's it going, dude? You gonna come say hi? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> That's just awesome right there. He just crawled up to my foot and laid his head on it. He's kind of hissing a little bit, but... What do I smell like? Do I smell funny? <laughs> All right, dude. I'll leave you to your business. Big, beautiful indigo is our first snake of the day. Unfortunately, he is in shed, but I mean, still a very titanic and beautiful snake. What an animal. Even deep in shed, still gorgeous. We have had quite the February so far for indigos and diamondbacks, and the day's just getting started. I'm gonna leave this guy to his business. Let's see if I can find another one before it heats up too much. Look at that blue eyeball. incredible this thing is super chill too i mean he's just he doesn't seem to be too bothered by the fact that i'm sitting next to him and crawled right over my foot a second ago as y'all saw kind of looks like he's gonna do it again very inquisitive so the indigo was no joke right there and then right here <laughs> we have a diamond back this place is kind of ridiculous it hasn't even been 10 seconds since I found the indigo. He was literally 10 feet away. And then right there we have a diamondback. A pretty big diamondback too. I mean, it's definitely not the biggest one we've seen this year because we have seen two monsters already, but it's not a small snake. What you doing, buddy? Just coiling up? I sure didn't want to disturb you. Look at that guy. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna try to leave this guy alone too. And uh, we've definitely had our fair share of diamondbacks this year. So I don't wanna disturb this guy any more than I already have. And we have more snakes to find, hopefully. We'll see what we can get into. Let's see his rattle through there. It's decently big. All right, dude, peace out. Stay safe. Stay away from that indigo. <laughs> He's definitely big enough to eat that rattlesnake, but I doubt he would care to until he comes out of shed. So you got a little bit of time, but you better get out of here before he sheds. It's not a snake, but I came to check this tortoise burrow and I heard something move. <laughs> There's a little southern toad down in there. I don't know if you could see him, but he just took off down the burrow. So while we're uh, 
between snakes here, I'd like to take a second to just thank the, uh, the guy who gets me out onto this property because it is a pretty incredible piece of land. And it's obviously got an incredible snake population, so I know you'll probably end up watching this, so I really appreciate it. Hopefully the snakes will pick back up here shortly. Um, it's kind of crazy how much activity there was in that one little area. That would suck to fall into. It's a giant patch of cactus. Alright, well that was a productive morning. I'm going to hop in this bad boy, cruise my way to get some lunch. And then we'll come back out and hike and flip 10 again in the afternoon. Alright guys, well while I was out finding an indigo and a diamondback, Nat was playing golf. And he turned up a hognose snake on the fairway. Look at that. And he isn't playing dead. He's just been super chill so far. Apparently, he never played dead, which is super weird for an eastern hognose. I'll put him down right here. But we're going to grab lunch real quick, and then we'll go back out and see what else we can find. Get Stay away going. from the golf carts. Just going to bury in the leaves right there, isn't yeah. he? He's just coiling up right there under the leaves. This was that kind of heavy piece, I think. Bring it this way. It's nice. Uh, I mean, it's a little, it's a little hot. Yeah. It would be good on a cooler day. Oh wow! Brown water. Oh. Well, the tin that we were hoping would produce a king snake just produced this nice, small adult brown water. It's a very pretty snake. But uh, decent disposition, hasn't tried to bite yet, so we'll just let him go. We got a lot more tin to flip. Hopefully it's not underwater. It might be. It is underwater. All right, well, I was rummaging through some of this tin here, and I flipped to this guy. It's a little southeastern crown snake. We've already seen, I think, one of these this year, but uh, this is a new area for me to see him in, so it's always nice. But very squirmy as usual, so I'll just put him back under his tin. This whole place is like a giant sand hill, so it's all pretty suitable habitat for these guys. Go, bud. Well, there's a giant bullfrog under this piece of tin. That's not something I was expecting to see, but it's pretty neat. Look at that guy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. All right, it's ridiculously hot right now. They're burning and uh, it's getting kind of late in the day. So I'm going to spend the rest of my time distributing tin. So we're gonna load some of this up onto the trailer and we're gonna take it out into habitat. All right, first sets out. I call this a rattlesnake mansion. You got milk snake mansions and you got rattlesnake mansions. And this. Is a rattlesnake mansion. Hopefully this will pay off in the future. It was a lot of work dragging all this tin over here. My body's gonna be feeling it tomorrow. All this smoke and all this work. Hopefully it'll pay off in the future though. I like the look of this one. Got a nice foundation here. There's very clearly smoothed out area under there where a snake's been hanging out. So hopefully we'll get him under here. All right, we got another one there and another one there. This is some pretty good looking king snake habitat here. Got an old foundation, nice tall grass. So I have high hopes for these two in the future. All right, time to load up another round. It had to happen eventually. Ah. Ooh, that one's ah. Ow. Can you not? Ah. Jesus. All right, everybody. It has been a very long but very fantastic day. I feel like we accomplished a lot today between the herping and the setting up future flip spots. The weather was pretty much useless after about noon because it just got so hot. It got up to around 88 degrees today, which is crazy. But with that being said, we did pretty good considering, I think. So I'm going to begin the long drive home. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you all so much for watching. 
Subscribe if you want to see what all this tin I put out produces in the future, and I will see you guys next time.